The inspiration for this idea came from a Chew in the Fat sketch. We brought um, a painting into the community, into a school, and were able to open up the back of our special truck and allow the children and members of the local community to come in and get right up close uh, with Monica of the Glen. You need ribbons, Adina? The ribbons will not be around Tuesday, sweetheart. <laughs> Is that you? That's us. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the, the middle of rural Perth and Kinross and it's that age-old thing of the further you go from a major city, the fewer opportunities there are to, to view major art pieces for the simple reason that they tend not to, to travel that far. So we have pupils who have never set foot in an art gallery. There are a selection of people outside. There are members of the police. Right now, in a van, is... The Monica the Glen. I think it's obvious walking about the school on campus today that there's a real buzz left. He's just really excited to have such an iconic piece of art just outside the school in our car park. It's slightly surreal, but great. My role today was uh, security. Yeah, it's unusual. Did a lot of things um, similar, but it's normally with uh, human beings and not paintings. My first impression when I walked onto the van was mostly how big it was because it was huge. It looked different to the ones, well, the pictures you could see of it. The colours were different, they were more vibrant. I thought it was much bigger than it was going to be and that took me by surprise. The painting kind of made me think of when I go off walking in Scotland and that made me feel quite happy. The painting makes me think about like nature and also just the incredible skill and time that would take to make something like that. I think bringing this to the local community is a fantastic thing. I was very lucky I had art galleries on my doorstep, but here you're miles away from, from anything like that. Well, I think it's important for the art to go on tour because not everyone has the ability to go and visit museums and see the paintings. It's important to us to make it as accessible to everybody as possible and you don't have to come to Edinburgh or Glasgow or to a big city to see it. Galleries are great but bringing art right into the heart of the community, there's no substitute for that in terms of getting real access for, for everybody in the community. Part of our project here was to have our pupils look beyond the frame, you know, what is actually the basis for the story, what was going on at that time and I feel its significance at that particular stage in Scotland's history cannot be something that is, is overlooked. There are pupils who, purely through rural isolation, would never have the chance to view a piece of this significance at any other stage. But the fact that the National Galleries have facilitated the piece to come to them is hugely significant. I was very excited when I saw the painting and I thought it was really cool that it came to your school. I felt very proud to be Scottish and to know that the painting is ours. 